。呃，下面我们有请来自俄罗斯的呃叫 Dmitry Artyakhin Artyakhin， 呃，他是俄罗斯人民友谊大学。他的研究方向呢，主要是在正常条件下和病理条件下肥大细胞的生物学。呃，在诸多国际学术期刊发表论文六十八篇。下面有请。Thank you very much, dear professors, dear colleagues. I'm very glad to see you and very glad to be here. First of all, greetings from People's Friendship University of Russia, and uh, many thanks for um, chance uh, to present some results of our experiments uh, about mast cells and about possibility realize effects of molecular hydrogen. Um, yes, uh, mast cells was. Discovery by Paul Ehrlich, and uh, mm -hmm, thank you very much. Uh, and uh, until and uh -huh, thank you very much. And until uh, many years, uh, the possibility of um, biological function of mast cells more and more. Uh, and uh, with the cells right now. Uh, exist many hypotheses in translational medicine and personalized medicine because mast cell can be not only diagnostic criteria but it can be target for different pharmacological uh, agents and it c can be target for molecular hydrogen. Why? Because the mast cells is a special cells in tissue microenvironment and you can see how mast cells um, position in this another uh, many uh, cells. Uh, mast cells can be a sensor and can be a factor. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh -huh. uh, sensor, uh, uh, you can see there are many res uh, receptors and uh, mast cells can feel a microenvironment around and uh, decision of mast cells we can find uh, in the different granules, uh, different uh, mediators, uh, and these mediators is an instrument, very interesting instrument and very effective instrument uh, of mast cells for regulating of tissue microenvironment. Uh, you can see on this slide that uh, mast cells can uh, 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 have a very strong effect to non-immune cells, to immune cells, to extracellular matrix, and uh, so many mediators we can find in mast cells, and uh, molecular hydrogen can influence to mast cells, and uh, that's why uh, some uh, strong effect uh, which we can find uh, 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 under uh, understanding uh, uh, mechanism of influence of molecular hydrogen, we can connect it with uh, mast cells. Uh, this is uh, some instruments, some mediators. Uh, there are many mediators in the granule, and uh, each mediator uh, cytokines, uh, growth factors, specific proteases, uh, uh, amines, different amines, and uh, <clears throat> go on, uh, this uh, can uh, give possibility for mast cells to have many uh, important uh, influence to different targets, cells or not cells. And uh, uh, <clears throat> one of them, this is uh, uh, glyconaminoglycans and hep heparin in the granules. So. Uh, to check uh, one of uh, theory of antifibrose anti uh, effects of molecular hydrogen, we conduct experiment and uh, you can see control group of rats, uh, rats with model of fibrosis uh, with use monocrotalin 
and uh, this third group of uh, rats uh, uh, was under in inhalate uh, air containing 4% molecular hydrogen during 21 uh, days. It's uh, uh, distance of experiment. And the first of all, you can see on this slide that in control group, uh, single mast cells we can find in respiratory uh, part, and uh, we can see how mast cells can influence to uh, capillaries, to uh, and endothelial sites, for, for example, uh, for fibroblast or uh, on this you can see or on this. So it's uh, uh, maybe some different uh, cells, mast cells, if they uh, localized the respiratory part of uh, lungs or uh, uh, bro uh, uh, bronch. And uh, under uh, influence of monocrotaline, you can see uh, uh, there are many mast cells in the tissue of respiratory parts and you can see uh, migration of mast cells in the wall of uh, arsenos. You can see it in the uh, granulocytes uh, connected with endothelocytes in the vessel. And uh, you can see uh, on the mo model of fibrosis, mast cells the, uh, active degranulate secret on to uh, tissue microenvironment and uh, construct some groups and can uh, be together in a big uh, number. Uh, this is uh, again uh, the granulation uh, and the uh, monocrotaline action and active uh, the interaction with uh, neutrophils and lymphocytes. Uh, uh, interaction with plasmocytes and uh, very often it's very strange behavior of nucleus of mast cells. It's like denuc denucleation uh, and the model of fibrosis. If we use uh, uh, molecular hydrogen, the number of mast cells was uh, uh, lower in comparison with uh, uh, model of fibrosis, but sometimes uh, we can find areas uh, with uh, that retain things on inflammation and uh, uh, some mast cells infiltration. Uh, this another uh, cells uh, and the uh, uh, protective uh, effects of molecular hydrogen. It's single mast cells in the bronch. And there are several methods that we use. Uh, it uh, the methods uh, combined methods immunohistochemistry with gistochemistry, and we can understand better uh, uh, tryptase con uh, co co uh, containing the mast cells. And you can see that uh, in control group, uh, we can see there are many mast cells without tryptase. Uh, and uh, in the control group, uh, uh, mast cells can be without tryptase, moderate uh, content of tryptase, uh, high content of tryptase and different secretion activity. Um, uh, secretion activity can be by tryptase and uh, only heparin, for example. And uh, when we calculated totally mass cells on the, on the slide and we use bioinformatical analysis, we can see that uh, the number of uh, mass cells were more high uh, uh, and the fibrous model in comparison with control and molecular hydrogen decrease this number of mast cells and this uh, absolute number all relative and uh, we can see that uh, uh, if we counted mast cells uh, per uh, millimeter square uh, we can see uh, 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 like uh, in this uh, uh, picture when mass number of mast cells was low. So, and we can see uh, uh, fibrous group, so many mast cells with tryptase and uh, very intensive action to uh, another cells of microenvironment. 
you can see this secretion of granule to different cells. And uh, for uh, uh, here, uh, another picture about uh, uh, very intensive uh, uh, secret tryptase to the microenvironment. And uh, this you can see intracellular exchange of tryptase by uh, uh, neighboring mast cells uh, because uh, tryptase can uh, go through one cell to another cell. And if we use uh, uh, molecular hydrogen, first of all, you can see Dr. that... Dr. Dometry, what? Dr. Dometry, uh, please stammer. Uh, time? Please summary. Uh huh, okay. <laughs> uh -huh, summary, it's a long way. Okay, if you uh, want to see summary, the summary will be there. Yeah, 15. Okay. Uh, this is summaries. So, molecular hydrogen can uh, stop, stop arrest uh, s uh, not only number of mast cells in the tissue microenvironment, but can stop uh, secretion of uh, inf uh, pro-inflammation components of mast cell secretome. And it can uh, lead to uh, low inflammation in the lungs, so uh, low uh, uh, signature of fibrosis. This is the main thing, and we can uh, we, we can uh, pro, uh, find proof uh, in the secretory mechanism. We can buy proof uh, in this legend of uh, fibro uh, uh, molecular. Uh, mast cells and collagen fibrogenesis. And uh, uh, on electronogram, we can see this uh, evidence. So uh, thank you very much for your attention. Thank you, Dr. Uh, Dimitri. Uh, excellent uh, conference report. Thank you.